Hello, good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Facebook Live. Welcome as well to my page. My name is Irish, and I'm one of the coaches of the Filipino Virtual Assistants. Thank you so much for coming into my Facebook Live. So I hope that you can hear me clearly. Let me just check on my audio. Yes, okay. I can hear myself, so thank you. Okay, so I hope you are all doing well wherever you are. Feel free to let me know in the comment section wherever you are right now. If you are in the Philippines or outside of the Philippines, it would be a joy for me to know that you are here. So, yeah. Um, I would like to apologize first because I know that I initially, what do you call this? I initially mentioned about another topic that we will be discussing tonight. However, I realized as I was making a lot of assessments this week that this is a basic topic that I was not able to touch on and I should have discussed. This is already my ninth Facebook Live and I'm just really grateful to everyone and most of all, it's really God's grace that I'm able to sustain this. So yeah, um, looking back, I should have done this earlier. And one of the reasons also why I decided to change the topic tonight is because I learned, especially people that I really know, that they have lost their jobs or they are just tired, actually, of what they are doing right now. They know that they have bills to pay, so they are still holding on to whatever they are doing right now, but they want to have the change of career. Or probably they are already home at this time because they have lost their jobs and they are looking for something because, you know, bills just continue to, to just pile up every month. So if you know those people, feel free to like, comment and or share rather this Facebook live to them. I'm sure it will be a big help to the people that you know, because this platform is really is really for empowerment, especially that we can start our own economy. Even if we are working from home, even if we are not outside of the Philippines, we can actually start earning dollars. And I hope that you can spread the news, this good news as well, to the people that you know. So our topic for tonight is how to start as a social media professional. I like to call it as a social media professional because it is really a serious kind of work. Social media may not sound very serious to many people because it started out before as Friendster or MySpace. And those were just really for the purpose of connecting, for the purpose of just um, uh, socializing, but it has evolved at this time already. Now that we are in the pandemic, well, it started years ago, but it became such a very big thing last year because everyone was just forced to stay at home because of the virus. So now all businesses would like to be online, but these business persons also have a problem because they don't know where to start. Now that's where you as a social media professional will come in. So before that, let me introduce myself 
So for those who do not know me, for those who just stumbled upon this Facebook Live, my name again is Irish, and I have been a freelancer since 2016. Although I have started to do some side hustles that are related to freelancing, but it wasn't full-time yet. I started that one back in 2014, if I'm not mistaken, and I decided to be a full-time freelancer in 2016. So it's been more than five years, going, yeah, five years this year. So uh, this is a decision that I don't regret. So if I'm going to go back five years from now, uh, five years ago, sorry, I would still make the same kind of decision. I am also a real estate broker by profession, wherein it has really helped me in, in establishing my finances. It has really helped me in closing a lot of deals. It is because of social media. And I am a digital marketing mentor. Again, I'm one of the coaches of the Filipino Virtual Assistants. But even before I became one of the coaches of the Filipino Virtual Assistants, I was already doing an internet marketing program, but it was within a corporate background uh, with the real estate brokers and agents of a local developer. So that's basically who I am. Now, let me start with something that I think you are all familiar, especially for those that are thinking of how do you become a social media professional? Is, is it just posting in Facebook all day? Is it just, you know, writing that, uh, that certain phrase? Is it just taking a photo? Is it just mere uh, taking a video and posting it as a story? These are common misconceptions about what a social media professional does. Now, according to socialmediatoday.com, they, they actually compiled a lot, but then I just picked two that I find really funny. And uh, I've heard people say uh, these uh, sentences. So first is a social media manager place on Facebook all day. So I'm sure those that are full time in doing social media right now, I am very sure that you might be, uh, you might find this funny because you just don't do Facebook all day. If ever you do Facebook all day, that's because you look into the insights and it's not easy to look into in analyzing the insights. And also with Facebook right now that they're doing a lot of new features. Aside from the business suite, they also added the creator studio. They are also monetizing a lot where not many people know about that. So hopefully I'm going to give another webinar on how to monetize in Facebook. But for now, let's stick to this. Now, another misconception is, sorry, social media success is lock of draw. Lock of draw. So it's like, okay, I was able to reach this number of views or I was able to touch on, um, what do you call this? I was able to touch on this group of people because I don't know, for some reason, it just probably appeared in their, in their feed. Hi, Melanie. Good evening. Thank you for the support as always. So, so yeah, uh, they might think about that, but it is because they look into the insights. That's why the social media presence is a success. So these are the common misconceptions wherein if you are a social media professional, you will definitely say that this, these two are complete fallacy. Now, according to Lara, Laura Wilkinson of CSC Digital Marketing, social media, being a social media professional, it's about you knowing where your customers are and how to reach them. It's also about evoking emotions so that they feel inclined to interact and take action. 
So basically, you need to know your target market and how you will be able to touch them. With social media, it allows us to go beyond the borders of whatever, wherever country you are. If you, if we are in the Philippines and if you want to touch on clients in Australia or in Canada or in the US, you can by means do that through social media. But then it doesn't mean that once you put it in social media, that's it. You're, you're going to reach them right away. Of course not. It entails strategy. It's an, it entails technique. That's why it is called a social media professional because it is already part of marketing. This is the modern day marketing that was not introduced to us when we were in the university about marketing. Probably now it's already part because, uh, you know, social media is just right under our noses. But when I was in the university, this was never discussed. Social media at all was not. Probably I'm that old, but yeah, so, so, social media then was never part of, of the marketing courses that we have in the university. So if you are a student listening to this right now, consider yourself very fortunate. Now, okay, so... How do you become a social media professional? Is it just by applying? Well, yeah, you can do that. But it is better if you will put yourself out there and you have that confidence so that you can, you can tell this client, that, hey, I can be your voice of your brand. Even if you are uh, looking into the macro scale of things, wherein right now I am working with a UK realtor. I know he's very busy. So he doesn't really have, you know, the all the luxury of time to just go into Facebook or go into his Instagram account, go into to his LinkedIn and interact with these people. For sure he can, but of course he, again, he doesn't have the luxury of time because he's looking into the macro scale. Now as a social media professional, that's where you come in. You are like his voice online. But the thing is, can you, are you that confident? Now, Let's go into some of these things on how to start being a social media professional. So first is earn a certification. Now, I shared earlier that I became um, one of my side hustles, rather, was writing. I was writing for uh, a realtor in the U.S. And at the same time, I worked with a uh, web developer, he was, of course, um, developing the website, but at the same time, he doesn't know how to do the captions, how to do the copies. So I was that person. Now, I actually just know so little because I just... Um, I was just banking on what I know before or the, the things that I, that I knew then. Whatever I learned in school, yes, I was able to apply it, but I know that there was more that I should know. And you that you are at this time where there are so many courses offered, uh, courses that are even for free, or courses that uh, like what we offer here in the Filipino virtual assistance that is uh, paid because we give a certification. Now you are again, very lucky because if only the time that I got into this kind of career, if I knew that there was a course with a certification, I could have got into it right away. For sure the people that started this long time ago, they will feel the same. Now, again, it's better before you go out there, bring yourself 
um, out into you being a social media professional, earn a certification first. You should know the fundamentals. You should know how to maximize the platform. You should know how to optimize the platform, how to use all these features. Well, you don't, it doesn't mean that you should know everything, okay? But at least with earning a certification, it means that you really studied this field. So again, first, very important is earn a certification. Next one is set up a digital watertight. Now, what do I mean with setting up a digital watertight? Now, in the Filipino virtual assistants, the first thing that we always ask is for them to come up with their own branding, okay? So when we say branding, uh, who are they? What is their identity online? Now, you cannot just, um, what do you call this? You cannot give what you don't have. It's also the same as you cannot promote your services if they don't see it online. Like, for example, when I was doing an online course, I had to do the portfolios as well. Now, when I did that diligently, it wasn't because in my head I want to gain a client right away because I was still doing the course. Now, little did I know, just because I was just really very passionate probably of doing um, the social media setup, I was very detailed in terms of the graphics, even if I'm not a graphic designer, but thank you, Canva. Now, I did not, I didn't know that someone, I think from the UAE, she's a Filipina, noticed my account and sent me a message and asked me how much are my services so that I can set up her social media account for her small business. Now, it was just all because of that uh, account that I made water type meaning to say it's really something that has a good content it is something that when someone goes into your account they will say oh she she knows what she's doing or he knows what he's doing hi irene good evening thank you for coming in i hope you're doing okay so yes that's a set that's uh that's a digital water type before you go out there and get these clients, set up first your own account, okay? You have, to, you have to show them first what you've got. And it's so easy to just look into online because you need to have a public account, of course. You need to have your own Facebook page. You need to have your own LinkedIn account, um, Instagram. These accounts are very much, these platforms rather, are very important so that they will know that, oh, okay, this is a person that can work with my brand. So next one is get your hands dirty. This means that you need to have an experience, okay? Now, again, this it's a struggle to get clients. I totally understand that being in real estate for many years, it's not easy to just, uh, what do you call this, get a client. And also right now, especially that many people are offering social media services, but if you have an experience if you can show your client that you have done this now you can have a better edge here in so uh, the filipino virtual assistants for the trainees that we have we tell them to after the course and if they have completed all the portfolios they can apply for the apprenticeship program. The apprenticeship program is where they can have the experience in working like a social media manager, a social media marketer, a professional that is, 
and it also has a separate certificate. So you need to know first, how do you do it? When I worked with another client back then, it was still related to writing and real estate. I still, I still got the jitters, even if I already had the experience because every client is different. And these are clients because everything is online. You don't get to see them. Probably you get to talk to them, but some of them you don't get to know their face. And when you work with them and when they know that this is your rate, they will be demanding. They will definitely say, okay, uh, do this. This is, well, not really tell you, but at the back of their minds, they already expect that you know it, even if sometimes there are things that can be confusing. But it's okay because there's Google and also we have the different learning teams here in FBA. That's why it is good as well to be part of a course because aside from earning the certificate, you can also be part of a community, you know, working from home. Hi, Tafides. Good evening. She's watching from Mabalo. Hello, mother. Good evening. Hello also to my father. I hope he's listening or not sleeping. So yes, so experience again is very important because at least you already have an idea that, okay, this is how it works. Or at the same time, you can show them that this is what you have worked before because a lot of them will really be asking, so what, what's your experience on um, analyzing insights? What's your experience in community management? And if you don't know those things, but you are, let's say, um, asking them for, what, $10 per hour, well, you know, they're not, you're, that's not value for money on your client's end. They will just be demanding so much from you, of course, because you are demanding also a big amount, but then you need to have the experience. Good evening, Mika. Okay, so you're the one handling the account. So, okay, from, let's now go to choose a platform to be an expert in. So this one is basically, there are so many social media platforms, okay? Now that you have earned a certification and then at the same time you have set up your own digital account, next you have also gained an experience. It would also be good if you can choose a platform where you will master or focus. I know of a lot of people who are experts in IG marketing, or they are into LinkedIn, or they are um, YouTube, uh, what do you call this, uh, professionals, or Facebook ads, uh, marketing specialists. So those, they are already niching down. From being a social media professional, they have an umbrella under them where they are focusing on, which is highly advisable, especially if you know who you are targeting to. If you're targeting to, for example, a coach, there's so many different kinds of coaches, a, um, a transformational coach, a branding coach, a fitness coach, know where they are, know what platform they are using and be an expert in that platform. And if you choose to be an expert in that platform, always be present in that platform, okay? You should have a content wherein every day you are there so that when it's not just about what can be seen, because you also need to interpret. I've said this earlier about insights. You need to show them as well, okay, we need to change, for example, our time of posting because at this time, it says in our insights, the engagement is low. We should move it at this time because this is where the engagement is high. Now, when you look into the account, the account will not tell you that. 
you will have to go into the insights, into the analytics, and you need to know that's part of strategy. And that's part also of being an expert in the platform. So next one is go out of your circle. And when I say go out of your circle, it's not like, you know, we socialize like how we do before the pandemic. There are so many virtual events right now. And there's also a lot of Facebook groups right now where you can be part. And that's where you can find actually clients. Okay, you can actually offer them, for example, hey, do you want me to give you a free social media content plan? Or do you want me to look into your account and let me suggest some things? This is what I did before. Well, I do know of the person, but she's not probably my second and third affinity. I know her because of someone, but then uh i just you know i just really like to grow more in social media this was uh back in 2017 if i'm not mistaken so it social media is not as how it was then so i told her uh can i you know check into your social facebook page and uh, yeah i did I told her some suggestions until such time that she decided that I will be looking monthly into the account. So, you know, go out of your way. You, you don't need to just stick into the people that you know. There are even there are even people who message people out of the blue, and I think you've uh, received that. I personally receive that now in Instagram mostly, where they just send me a message and just you know just tell me uh, I look into your profile and I think this is what you need. Well, it may sound like a spam, but actually you that's a good strategy, to be honest, because you are putting yourself out there. You are going out of your circle. And also, going out of your circle also means engagement, wherein it means engagement. Um, you need to comment on other people's account. Okay? It may sound... Uh, I forgot where I heard it before, but someone said about social media ego or online ego. It's like, I don't want to comment on, on that account just because I don't want to. I don't like to like into that account just because I don't want to. Come on. We need to support people, okay? Because how can you expect them to support you if you don't support them? So go out of your circle. Step out of your way. So... You know, let go of that ego. If you want yourself to grow online, to go big online, support other people. I always believe in hashtag women supporting women. So, uh, yeah, I, I have a group of friends who are, we, we do different things, but I'm so happy that uh, we've now realized that we've now realized how social media is so important to our individual um career so yeah next one is don't just focus on one platform okay uh for the freelancers for the older freelancers i'm sure upwork is very very popular to them and i'm sure that they have met a lot of clients already through Upwork. Some also, they go to online jobs. These are the two that are highly uh, suggested. Although Upwork can be quite a pain, especially in getting clients because there are just too many people out there. It's an international platform already. So there's that somehow it may sound like it's saturated already, but then it's good because you are assured that your payment will really go through because Upwork will be the one to collect it first and Upwork will be the one to give it to you. Now, the other one that I said, online jobs, 
uh, it, it doesn't work like how Upwork works. You basically just get in touch with a client or the client will get in touch with you. Um, and it's up to you already. OLJ or online jobs will not do anything anymore with regards to the payment. Now, if you're not successful in the two, there are still a lot. Like, for example, here in the Filipino virtual assistants, we have what we call, we just launched it recently, it's Surge. Although, because we want to assure the clients that they are getting trained, certified freelancers, these this is for now exclusive to the trainees who have uh, done the apprenticeship program. So, but of course, hopefully, you know, later on, I don't know when though, it will be open to a lot of other freelancers. But again, there's so many others out there. Um, you just need to really go out of your comfort zone. I think that's the key word there. Go out of your comfort zone. Don't just focus your strength on one or two platforms or websites. So... Yes, so that's it. Um, for those who want to earn a certification, I hope that you are convinced that this is something that is a need. And at the same time, this is something very relevant. We know that we know we don't know when the pandemic will end. We know that a lot of businesses have been affected so much. My business, my other business has been affected. It's been a sad thing, but then, you know, it's something out of our control. And if you want to have that fail proof kind of um, career, especially for those who have families, I highly suggest that you start shifting digital or not just for people who have, you know, want to work for someone, for people who have their own businesses. It's time that you seriously put your business online, shift digital, and the social media management and marketing course will definitely help you with that. So what are the inclusions of the course? So uh, there's a lifetime registration to groups of more than 100,000 active members in Facebook. We have two live meetings. And also there are 17 already recorded lessons because we just updated the curriculum. But for those um, trainees that I have, batch one, two, and three, it's okay. You can still get into the academy site and feel free to go back and review the lessons especially the additional lessons and i will also be giving one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions another is we of course we will be giving a certificate and this certificate is recognized in upwork you can upload it there so that you can tell the client that I finished a social media management and marketing course. I am legit. Now, also, you can access the Academy site for one year, okay? One year from the time that you applied or registered. And we have regular enrichment webinars. This is one. And also, in the entire Filipino virtual assistance family, we also have other enrichment webinars that you can uh, what do you call this, you can definitely take part of. And I mentioned this earlier, the apprenticeship. So after the course, you can apply for the apprenticeship program. So right now, I actually have four apprentices. So I would like to give a shout out to, I hope I don't forget their names, Patricia, Myla, Raji, and Jesse. Yes. Hello. I don't know if you're listening, but I hope if you are listening, thank you for all the things that you did. 
And yes, we also have the hiring program via search because the apprenticeship program of FBA is divided into two. The first one is they'll be working with the local clients and the second one they'll be working with the outside clients. And, you know, we don't know. They might be absorbed by the, by the, by the clients themselves, especially for an exemplary work. Now, if you, because there's really no end to learning, ladies and gentlemen, in FDA, if you have already registered, especially for my course, then if you want to upgrade, if you want to upskill, you can, uh, you have a discounted rate for the other courses. And also this one, you have a discounted membership for affiliate marketing. What is affiliate marketing? This is basically, a passive type of income. And I've experienced this myself. I just probably gave the link. And when I looked into my email, I was so surprised because I already earned something. So that's basically what affiliate marketing is. And you can be an affiliate marketer also of FBA. And, but if you register for the course, you can have a discounted membership fee. So it's a lower rate. So, you know, these and all others, especially the courses, it's only for 4,000 pesos. Now, I would like to leave this webinar with one of my favorite quotes from Benjamin Franklin. And he said, investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. So, you know what? If you invest in yourself, that will just put you more into a higher pedestal, higher pedestal of income, higher pedestal of gaining clients. So enrolling to the course is basically an investment that you are making to yourself. And I'm so excited for next week because I will be having my trainee, whom I know has already, you know, got the return of her investment from joining the course because she already got a client. So I'm excited to have her next week. So, um, yes, I won't make this too long. Thank you all so much for listening. So, again, if you are interested, and I hope you are, to really upskill and to know more the social media management and marketing course it's open i'm gonna have my batch four by by may 4 batch four on may 4 so for those who are in the room if you have questions feel free to shoot in so that uh yeah okay so yeah i think that's about it so Thank you so much, and I hope to see you all in another Facebook Live. Bye for now. Good night.